Hey guys, Kev here, and I have two packages for you. Well, I'm going to unbox them. They're not for you. Whatever. Anyway, I'm going to unbox them. So one of them's from, I believe, Sencut, and the other one here is from Billet Spin. So you guys know Billet Spin are the people behind the Gambit coins and the tops and the camp pen. All the stuff recently, the fidgety stuff I've been getting into a little bit. I should say a lot. Um, basically balls deep into fidget toys now. Um, so, anyway. They sent me more shit, because they cool. Alright. So, again, Billet Spin uh, is are the ones behind these Gambit coins. The ones you can kind of pop out. Uh, you can spin them around. There's Zirconium, Timascus, really cool stuff. They also are behind the cam pen I have here, right here. This kind of cool shit. And then there's like a top and a base. And they sent me most of this for review, which is cool of them. Um, and they also just sent this. So, billet spin. Uh, Richard Sadler is the man. He's the guy I've been talking to on instagram really cool guy and this i think is a whistle i saw it on his instagram or something i was like dude that looks cool and he was like i'll send you that and i was like all right a whistle and he said uh it's a little different how it works he said 90 percent of people can get it um but there's like 10 percent of people who just can't figure it out um can't do the motion and i will probably be that 10 percent. we all know that already uh, <laughs> so here we go. It's got this really cool blue sort of detail up there. I believe it is stainless steel. Let's just double check. Oh, wait. Aluminum? He said steel, I think. I don't, maybe there's steel that's not magnetic. Because I am dumb. We all know this. So anyway, it connects to a keychain, I guess. And you can hang it off a keychain. You got an O-ring there, right? And here you got the parts of the, the whistle, I guess. I don't know. I'm no expert. Uh, and then you tighten it. Okay. And there you go. You got this really cool looking thing. That's a uh, whistle. So I don't know how it works. I'm going to figure it out. I don't know which way to blow because that doesn't look like a whistle. So I guess it's this way. And I don't know how to do this on camera. So let me just see if I can do it. Okay. That did not work. I told you I'd be the I'd be the one percenter. I can't do it. Oh, got it. Okay, so you gotta wrap your lips around the whole thing. I mean, I'm kind of doing it. Anyway, I'm wrapping my lips like all the way down to here. So anyway, that's interesting. I'll practice with this. I don't want to do it right now. My kid's sleeping. Um, and I'm going to get slaughtered if I wake her up. So um, this is the billet spin whistle. I don't know if they sell this on the website. I'll have to check. If they do, I'll, uh, I'll obviously put it down in the description. Big shout out to uh, Richard Stadler for saying this my way. Just a cool piece. I mean, I, I saw it in an Instagram post like this. It was just sitting there with, you know, the Gambit coin and some other things. And I was like, you know, that looks cool. Uh, what is that? And then he told me. So you could just easily put that onto your uh, keychain. It's not like it takes up a lot of space or anything. Interesting piece. So there you go. That is the whistle, the weenie whistle from uh, Billet Spin. So really cool stuff here. And then we have the knives. So uh, unboxing knife is, oops. Unboxing knife is the EMP EDC Nimble. Uh, I do have the Mokutai backspacer on this one. I have the kit, but what I did was put a little, put a little dab of Mokutai here, put a little dab of Mokutai here. I just thought it kind of worked. I don't like having, um, all this moku tie everywhere so i think just a pop of color just a pop of color is nice and it kind of works that way i had both on this one and i just i didn't like having both so um you know it's just something different 
All right, so here's the story with Send Cut. This came from Seth, who I believe is the guy behind... Uh, what is this? Okay. Uh, he's the guy behind... Uh, Wee Knives and stuff, Sabibi. Um, and I bought a couple of their knives off of Amazon. Is this a fixed blade? Um, I bought a couple of knives off of their Amazon store or whatever. Send Cut only sells on Amazon. And, um, it's a fixed blade, I think. Interesting. I don't know why. Okay. Um, and they just had some issues, so I sent it back. I got another one. And then that one had an issue, so I sent it back and got another one. Uh, or no, I sent it back and they were like, just, just, we'll send you something from our factory. I thought they were sending a folder. Um, so they sent a fixed blade. Uh, it's in 9CR, 18MOB, 59 to 61HRC. It's got a flat grind with a satin blade. Uh, it comes in these three uh, configurations here. You have all G10, G10, G10 in micarta, uh, natural black or green. So black or natural G10 and then green micarta. Uh, I really hope it's not this one. <laughs> Please don't be this one. It will be. You guys know it'll be that one. Um... They're looking for $67.99 on these. It's getting pricey for 9CR um, on the Sencut line, you know? I thought they were trying to sell knives for $45, bucks, you know? So we're going to see about this. Um, very, very odd that they sent me a fixed blade. I don't know. Maybe I should have told them I'm not a fixed blade guy. Or maybe they asked me and I forgot. I don't know. But, um... It's black G10. Hey, we got lucky there. We got lucky. Okay. I guess I have a fixed blade here I could use. <laughs> My God, come on. Just open up. So we got a tech lock looking thingamabob. Let's just, let's just do the thing. Let's just do the thing. Looks very much like the uh, knife that I had to send back a couple of times. The Bronte. Uh, which was a front flipper type thing. So here it is. This is the Waka Waka. The Wak... Wak... Wak I can't say it. I'm sorry. Waka Sakti. Waka Haki. Ooh. I will say it feels really good in the hand. Damn. That feels comfortable in the hand. Now, um, the last thing I want on a fixed blade is a clip point. Um, well, I guess I don't care. I don't know. I don't know what I want on a fixed blade because I'm not a fixed blade guy. I just don't know. You want to see my only fixed blade? This just seems like a very odd choice of lanyard to put on here. This looks like something Alley Cord Paracord makes. Shout out to Alley. Um... Or Alice. Sorry, this is obnoxious. Um, let me take this off. This is called a uh, spinet. <laughs> I don't know what it's really called, but I, f I remember that name from Allie. Alice, damn it. Sorry. I keep saying Alley because it's Alley Cord Paracord. Okay. Oh, my load. Okay. Let's check this out here. How does this work? Is that like a lock or something? I am. I told you I'm not a fixed blade guy, so I don't know what I'm doing. Oh. So you pull these up. I don't, don't quite get it. Oh, it's a Terzula design. Okay. So this is a Bob Terzula fixed blade. Okay. Oh, it's, what the? We have some branding issues here. <laughs> this is the Senkut Wakahachi fixed blade. 
sorry, made in China. But we have a uh, Civivi logoed sheath thingy. And, dude, the, oh, man, that thing is stout. Ugh. All right, it's the last time I'm getting it out. Is this a, okay, and then this is branded Sencut. That's a bit odd. Uh, I don't really care. Does it matter in the long run? No, but your branding is just off here. It's odd. Um, it feels really good in the hand. That, that's kind of what I can say about it. I'm not a fixed blade guy, guys. If you can't tell, I'm a little thrown off here. Um, this is my only fixed blade. I, I do have a kitchen knife, but it's for my wife's. I bought it for her, but it's hers. Um, this is a Sacred Bear Custom fixed blade. Yes, I screwed this up because I used a Kydex sheath that he made me. I didn't know it would screw up the handset. <laughs> I would have never done it. Um, yeah, Sacred Bear. I've never used this. I mean, I've cut paper with it to test the edge. And I think maybe a shipping label. Um, but that's it. It's beautiful, right? If anybody's interested, let me know because I'm never going to use this. Um, so I'll sell it. I bought it for $225. i will sell it for, I don't know, $200. Let me know. It comes with this leather sheath and a kydex sheath that does tend to scratch your face um but it's cool though it's made in pa custom um this is the wakahachi and uh yeah it's comfortable in hand it's 9 cr so i don't know that's not the best steel to be outdoors with is it but i guess people buy fix blade fixed blades made out of 1095 how's the edge retention on 1095 you know um so it is what it is. Um, it's got a machine satin, which is interesting. They almost never do that. Uh, but they did it there. Maybe they do it on the sun cuts. I don't know. You got a full tang construction. You got a lanyard thingy, obviously, because this came with it. Um, you have Torx construction, which is pretty cool. So you could take those off. Let's, uh, let's see what's under there. T8, I hope. I, almost, I went to fold it. <laughs> I was about to say, do I need to get the old... Uh, oh, are you kidding me? Oh, no, I was going to say, it's a spinner? Feels like it's spinning a little bit. Oh, my God. What did I get myself into here? T8? No, it's T10. Right. This is a really bad idea, so... Gotta put it back on the sheet there. I'm dumb, guys, but I'm not that dumb. Or is he? My God. Okay, let's try it this way. Then. This is for your enjoy. Some guys will get that joke. Okay, calm down. Got one. Are you kidding me? Is the other one into a sheath? God damn it. Ugh. All right. Still going to have it sort of in the sheath because I don't want to fuck myself up. And I'm going to. I'm going to fuck myself up. I don't want to do it. Yeah, you gotta make sure the right side comes out. Because that would suck. Dude, why can't I get this in? Why is it not... It's a little weird. I don't know. I waited like a month to get this. Now, they sent it for free, so whatever. But it's just weird. I was expecting, you know, a folder of some sort. I just want to see the inside. That's all. 
just want to see it. I just want to see. I just feel like this might be cool without scales. <laughs> Look at that. See, it is cool. Now it's a shank. <laughs> I'm just kidding. There's a lot of oils on it. Still pretty comfortable. I mean, it's not comfortable, comfortable, but this thing could tuck away now. You know, you could put this in your pants. I'm just kidding. Uh, but you could make a pair. You can make a paracord handle. You can make handles out of whatever you wanted. That's pretty cool. I don't know. I just thought it would be interesting to see underneath. I think it's uh, an interesting sort of deal there. So let's see if we can't get this BH back together. Shouldn't be all that hard. Easier to put back together than it is to take apart. That's for show. I get why they did the uh, double-sided spinning pivot thing. It makes sense. Um, yeah, it's way more comfortable with the scales. And they're not super thick or anything. I was just curious what was under there. Let's cut something. With the Waxahachie. Oh, yeah. Classic Wii Sabibi Sun Cut Edge. Um, I will say I've been hearing that I always like their edges out of the box, but I've been hearing that their edges are good like this out of the box, but they're super like slick and they they um, they're not the best long term type edge. I don't know. I don't care personally because I never use a knife enough to, <laughs> to worry about it. I'll just drop it, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know what I mean? This knife, will I use it enough to even get that far? I don't know. Um, I do like the design. I think it's cool looking. I, I don't love a clip point just because for what I do day to day, I just don't need a clip point. I need a sheep's foot. And for what I do day to day, I don't really need a, a fixed blade. But you know what? This seems like a great knife that I could throw in the truck with my hatchet. I have a custom hatchet from Ryan Pearson. I could throw this in the truck and it could just be a truck rider. You know what I mean? Uh, let me grab some of this stuff. This is the KPL Knife Shield. Sorry, I went a little, I went a little crazy there because I figured why not put it on the, uh, on the handle too. Sorry, my... I need, a, I need some WD on my chair. Where is the damn cloth I just had in my hand? I don't understand. I don't understand it. There's one. I need to get some new ones. Ordered some Devo uh, microfiber, so there you go. I'll have some of those, I guess. Ordered a thousand of them. Along with a thousand Devo keychains. Hopefully, hopefully they come out good, because that would suck. Um, and we went with big ass microfibers. It's not even like knife microfibers. Like these are great from Jack Wolf. Um, these are like I don't know eight by eight or something, maybe um, eight by six, something like that. The ones we got are twelve by twelve, and they're like this sort of hopefully this sort of towel material. Uh, we really want them to 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 work for you, you know. Uh, this, these are the most useful microfibers I've ever had. I've been using them since I got them. I've had like four. Um, I've had to throw a couple, I think, because I've just used them to death. I mean, look at this. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I need more uh, Jack Wolves just to get more cloths. Um, yeah, so there it is. That's the Wackahaxi. I know I'm saying it wrong. Uh, Trezula design. I think that's cool that it's a Trezula. It must be a new knife that they're... They're getting ready to sell. Uh, is there a launch date on it? And that's why they sent it. It makes sense. I just personally am not a fixed blade guy in the least. So kind of, it kind of knocked me off balance a little bit there. I was expecting something else. Is there a release date 
I guess they don't put a release date. Interesting. So this could be out already. That's how you say it or spell it. Sorry. Waxahatchee. I think I've been saying it right. Wow. Um, I think I do like... Wait. Oh, you just can't see. I was going to say that one looks solid, like no holes. But it's just a picture. So this is the one I have. I probably would like the micarta, but then the black blade, which is fine. I think for a fixed blade, a, a coated blade makes the most sense, I think. But 68 bones for this, you know? You can get a lot of knives for 68 bones. Especially, you know, um, fixed blades. I assume you could get something pretty good for 68 bones. Um, you know, but it is built well. Um, and who knows? Maybe that steel is, like, good for this sheet is way too strong ah, man i can't get the i don't even want to pull on it sheet is just way too strong um like i did it a couple times and now i'm like sore there we go so you gotta hold on let me try it again pull and push at the same time ah it's not bad but it is really i mean see that so if i pull Jeez, I'm just afraid of, like, slicing my finger down here. Again, not used to fixed blades. Um, it's chewing some of the Kydex up, so I, I guess it'll wear it in over time. And it'll dull the edge at the same time. You know? Cool. So there it is. Uh, I think I've rambled enough about it. Uh, so we got our, our weenie whistle. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Our billet spin whistle that I can't use because I'm a five-year-old. Um... And we have our Sencut um, Waxahachie. I'm guessing this thing probably cost as much as that does. That's possible. Uh, very well made. Very well machined. Uh, he does everything on CNC, which is impressive. Look at that. Um, just really cool stuff here. Um, wait, are you supposed to just... Oh, am I not supposed to... Oh. Got it. Hold on. I blow this way? Nope. <laughs> Sorry, I think you do keep it on here. But that doesn't make sense, right? If you had it on your keychain, you couldn't take the whole thing off. But it gets louder when it's... Man, I gotta just ask him how it works. I get better results with it like this. So, and I'm still getting no results. So, anyway, that's it, guys. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Some different stuff here for sure. Uh, would you pick up this fixed blade for 68 bones? Uh, is this up your alley? I mean, super ergonomic. I'm sure a lot of people love this blade shape for actual fixed blade stuff like bushcrafting, uh, skinning animals, hunting, that kind of shit. Um, so let me know what you think this would be best for. What would you do with it? Would you take the scales off and put paracord on? Would you throw this lanyard back on? I don't feel like this matches well, but hey. Uh, shout out to Send Cut for sending it along uh, and uh, throwing me a curveball. It's always interesting. Uh, shout out to Seth for sending it along as well. And uh, shout out to Civivi for loaning us <laughs> a tech, tech lock. <laughs> I don't know if that's really a tech lock or if it's like tech lock ish, you know, I'm not an expert. So I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day and I will catch you later.